What's happening folks? I'm back with another reaction and back to kick off a new deep dive on the channel, which is to say welcome to anyone who's just found the channel, in this case looking for an Ultravox reaction. Big shout out to friend and champion of the channel, Han Solo, who's enabled an insane number of deep dives and has been sort of, you know, pushing me in different directions to try to get me to start certain deep dives. And one of his comments was that as I'm going through the early OMD material, and as I've just started to go through the Cocteau Twins material, he suggested it might be an interesting comparison to start going through Ultravox, who I believe, you know, at least in the early 80s, had um, a sound that was in that similar sort of dark and kind of gritty um, early 80s environment. So uh, we are going to listen to a Greatest Hits album, so I assume that there are tunes from not just maybe, you know, the very early 80s, but uh, perhaps other points in their history as well. Nevertheless, we'll just start going through it in order, uh, and the first tune on this compilation album is Vienna, or Wien, or Wien, uh, depending on where you are. Um, yeah, so obviously it speaks to a very specific city, which a which has a long and sort of rich history, um, especially, um, you know, there's a number of historians who like to study it during the phase when it was a city-state and had sort of a, um, you know, it's sort of um, cultural and social and, you know, political dynamic and a number of larger sort of processes uh, on the continent. So yeah, ultimately, um, I don't know if this will be sort of like a love letter to Vienna. Perhaps it'll be about um, aspects of it that um, you know are positive or that are, can be seen in a good light. Maybe it'll be just about the experience of living there in sort of you know more modern times, the twentieth century in this case. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like you can go so many different ways with it. Um, but ultimately, I would expect it to, on some level, relate to the peoples, the culture, the history, and or the society of Vienna, whether in a more contemporary framework or as like a period piece or a sort of historical reflection. So let's find out. This is Ultravox. It's the first tune on a Greatest Hits album that I've been given access to, and it's called Vienna. Thank you. 
opening reactions to a deep dive. Uh, once again, shout out to Han Solo for putting me onto this and suggesting it would be a good time to do it. But I mean, like, there's nothing I can compare that to. I'm thinking, okay, it's going to have a dark and gritty sound. It'll have that sort of like, maybe it, it feels a bit light too. So there's that sort of tension or contrast. That was unlike anything I've ever heard. And the transitions into the sort of very explosive, like vocal swelling, like the the rest of the, the elements, the strings and so on, just really coming in powerfully. I cannot believe those moments. And then it just takes off into like a more synth poppy kind of dance rhythm, like double time. And then it sort of like stumbles and disassembles back into the slower rhythm. I can't believe that. Uh, what an opening track. Uh, really cool tune. Someone let me know um, specifically like what release that's from as I go through this Greatest Hits album. Um, you know, I will rely on Han Solo and others who know their work to sort of, you know, let me know, you know, where the, the tunes are chronolo chronologically. Because I imagine, you know, it'll be not just in a straight order. And most Greatest Hits albums sort of, you know, jump around a little bit. Maybe they start with like the really big hits and then they go to some others that are well known but not as much as some of the ones that, you know, really broke through. So, um, yeah, do let me know uh, as we go through this which uh, and where uh, which albums and where they come from in any case let me know what you think i'll see you next time peace